welcome to Storytime with Miss Evans. Today we are going to read The Lion Inside and I've got my trusty lion with me here. So snuggle in, get ready for a really good story. In a dry dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock all craggy and old. Under that rock, in a tiny full house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. Hello. Hello. He got trod on, ow, and sat on, ow, and missed out for stuff, ignored and forgotten. Yes, mouse life was tough. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. This huge toothsome creature made sure everyone saw how important he was and how loud he could roar. Yeah, he was head of the pack. He was shouty and tough and he loved showing the crowd he was made of strong stuff. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only, thought Mouse, I could be more like that. Then late one dark night, in his mini mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He jumped from the covers and held up a paw. I've got it, he said. make. Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in. Oh, and life would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse. I must find out how. I will learn how to roar and I will learn it now. But, oh my gosh, there was only one beast who could teach him this thing. But might make him a feast. It was time to be strong. Take a chance after all. Forever is such a long time to feel small. So he made himself brave and he thought like a winner. He set off for the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do. But if you want things to change, you first have to change you. The further he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion, reclining on top. Then, at last, as he stood on his tippity toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. <clears throat> um, pardon me? Uh, mm, wake up! Mr. Lion, you've got um, company. Um, squeak. Um, Mr. Lion, what I've come to you for is squeak. Um, do you think you could teach me to roar? A silence befell that twinkling 
plane. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time slowed right down. Why, it felt like a week. Then he opened his mouth and he let out a eek! Lion was shaking his paws all a fumble. He was backing away with a scrambly tumble. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. You'll try to be nice. Wow, my goodness, this lion was frightened of mice. Oh, don't worry, Mouse peeped. I'm a friend, not a foe. Let's rock this together. Um, we'll have fun, don't you know? And that was a magical moment for sure when Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He'd found his true voice and he'd learned to speak out. And for that, you don't need a roar or to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked the rock better now that the rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And the lion, well, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Yes, that day, both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed that story. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.